African djembe drum. Kind of interesting word, it's an African word, D-J-E-M-B, it's called a djembe. And these all come from West Africa. So all of these have goat skin, that I don't know kind of what they are, but these are your drum made drums. You also notice that if you look at the top of your drums, some of them have a line that kind of runs right through the middle of the drum. It might be slightly off to the side. You have one there. You have one right there. You have one right there. You have one right there. That's the spine of the goat. So the biggest part of the skin. Yes, that's it right there. The biggest part of the skin comes from the goat's back. So the reason that we play a drum like this is because when our drums are flat on the ground, we can't really sing.
the same thing. You're going to do it in groups of three. And what's going to happen for this rhythm is that you need to come up with a clear, the three of you come up with a clear beginning for your rhythm. How are you going to start? And you have to come up with a clear way of ending your rhythm all together. Okay? So you have to decide how it's going to start, play the rhythm for a minute, and then decide how it's going to end. Does that make sense? Mafo, Bulani Bala, no 